Hi, my name is Danny Fleming of the MA Properties team. This topic is I want to sell some of my furniture. When should I let the buyers know? So we shouldn't include furniture in the sale of your home. We just shouldn't. Um, why? If you've stated and if your agent has stated in MLS that it includes the dining room, um, table and armoire and china cabinet. Let's say you do that. Then when it comes time for the appraiser to appraise the home, um, hey, and, and it's included in the purchase and sale, well, it includes the dining room, the dining room set, the, basically the dining room set, the three components of the dining room set. Well, what if that's an antique? What if that dining room set is worth $100,000 just in and of itself? It creates lots of issues with appraisals um, because furniture should not be included because the appraiser has no idea how much of the value of the, the sale price, the purchase price that you paid for the home was part of, of um, the dining room uh, dining room furniture. So it should never be included in the sale. You might want to leave it behind, but it should never be included in the sale. The time to talk about that with the buyers is after purchase and sale. So you might want to leave it behind. You might want to sell it. You might want to sell various pieces of furniture to the buyers. Um, you might want to leave a whole lot of stuff for them. You can't just leave it. Um, it needs to be agreed upon by the buyers if you're just going to leave it behind. You can't just leave it. Or if you want to sell it, it's a, a hands-off transaction. It's nothing to do with the purchase of the home. It's you negotiating that price with the buyers who just happen to be buying the home. Um, <clears throat> so say for instance, what we typically do in that scenario is you come up with a list of what you want to sell, how much you want to sell it for. Don't just say, I want to sell this. The buyers need to know how much you want to sell it for and how much you want to leave behind, free. And then we send that list off to the buyer's agent. The buyer sends, buyer's agent sends it on to the buyers and the buyers will either say yes, no, um, they'd buy it for cheaper, etc. It's a negotiation at that point. Um, and the buyer's agent and the listing agent are just the go-betweens. Go We're just taking the buyer's response and giving it to you. You're just sending it via us to the buyers again. And then at walkthrough, whatever's been agreed upon, whether it be, let's say they agreed to buy something for $400 that money changes hands at closing, um, but it's not part of the closing disclosure or the sale. But the buyers have to verify that you've left it behind. Um, so once they've done walkthrough and the they've spotted the furniture that they bought has been left behind, you can either leave a check with the closing attorney, leave a check with the buyer's agent, the buyer's agent gets it to the listing agent, leave a check with the buyer's attorney and the buyer's attorney will get it to the seller's attorney. But it's nothing to do with the sale um, of your home. And typically most closings are taking place separate. The, the, the seller is signing paperwork beforehand, the buyers are signing paperwork on the day of closing. So it's not necessarily the case that you're going to bump into the seller. Um, so the, the check needs to, to be gotten to the seller via, via the various um, mechanisms that we have, the various people who are at closing after you've done walkthrough. So um, that's when you should let the buyers know. Um, it's not part of leaving it behind for the, for the buyers. Um, it has to be agreed upon by the buyers that even if you're giving them stuff for free, you can't just leave it because then you're breaching the broom clean condition. And if the buyers don't want it, then you have to 
at the last minute you're paying expensive fees for trash removal because the buyers don't want it. It's you either take it to your place or um, it goes to trash. So we always organize it um, after purchase and sale so that it's not included in the purchase and sale and cause issues with the appraisers. So anyway, um, that's pretty well a summary of what happens there and how that happens. Um, if you've got any questions, give me a hoi and you've got my contact, contact info following and uh, have a great day. Bye.